Wow. I'm out elk hunting. And I thought old four o'clock or 42 was a goner. You can see the trail is really nice. It comes along and then it just washed right out. Sloughed right out. Looks like the artesian spring comes right out of here. So I was crossing, following an elk trail. Very fresh set of elk tra tracks. And I was walking along. And I put one foot where I shouldn't have put it. I should have been up over on the high side here, but I was lollygagging watching these elk tracks. And that hole right there looked perfectly dry and solid. And I put my foot into it. And I went up. There's the foot. I was right up to there in the mud. That's how high the mud was on me. And honestly, I thought it was a goner. I was keeled right over. I was lucky though. There was a good firm spot right there that I was able to get my uh, rifle and binoculars and pack onto. And uh, I was stuck in there exactly half an hour. A little better than half an hour. Like I said, I thought I was done. And uh, I kept digging myself out and the uh, mud would just keep rolling around, keep filling in. And then uh, the water started to pool in. And uh, it changed the consistency of the mud enough that uh, it broke the suction. And I was able to uh, get my leg out. But uh, the guy could have been there a while if he wouldn't have been uh, got himself dug out. So that's one of the perils of hunting by yourself and not knowing where, not having anyone know where you are. There's a stupid little mud hole that you sink up to your uh, crotch into. Could have done the guy in. Been about here for, for ages. Uh, it's the beginning, middle of the week. Not another soul out here hunting. So I'm gonna get myself cleaned up and carry on, and maybe I can try find these elk. Anyway, that was a little off-putting experience. So uh, take care, guys. Later.